hello and you're watching another SEO content machine tutorial video and today I'm going to talk about the archive.org scraper so this is the tool that you want to use if you want to access content that no longer exists online but has been archived on the archive.org site so we're talking about downloading content from the Wayback Machine so the tool itself uh, lives under the scrape archive.org and we're going to click on new archive.org scraper so first thing is you want to have a domain uh, that you know either exists or doesn't exist with content that you want to pull from for example one old site that I know of that no longer exists online but still has a lot of content on it uh, is flightcontrols.org so let's go over the settings so we have the start date and the end date uh, so first thing you need to do is you need to run a search on archive.org to see what kind of information lives online. So if I just click retrieve URLs with everything blank, it's going to go and contact uh, the site. It's going to find all the URLs that's been cached. So we can see there's about 1,483. So we've got a mix of articles. Uh, we've got a mix of, you know, WordPress content stuff, uh, themes and uploads. So not everything in here on this list we want uh, but of course uh, we can download all if that's what we require so one way to cut down on this list is if I know a particular start date that I want to uh, go into let's say I choose 2015 okay and then I only want all that content for that specific year Right now, I'm going to click Retrieve URLs again, and that's only going to give me 350 results, a lot less uh, to wade through. One thing I wanted to point out quite quickly here is that this URL list, you can always click on this link here to export this list to your hard drive, and then you can use the URLs as you wish. Now, the most important part about uh, this tool is the filters, so the include and the exclude filter. So, for example, 350 results. But I'm seeing a lot of duplicates with this port 80. So I want to go to exclude URL, type in 80, and click retrieve URLs to see the filter in work. So now I'm seeing, for example, this URL that says category. I don't want to download anything with the category. So a simple matter of just putting a comma, pasting category, and hitting the retrieve URLs button again. So yeah, my results are back. Now a quicker way is if I know that all the content that I require uh, has a specific URL to it. For example, I'm seeing, okay, go flight. I just want anything with the word go flight. So I'm going to instead go on to the include URL to CSV and type in go flight. Click retrieve URLs. And now it's giving me only the three articles and the, the content, some images that it knows about to download. Moving on, there are two other things we can do to the content to process it. We can match and find and replace words. And we can also strip HTML from the final article. And when we strip the URL, I mean, and when we strip the HTML, we can also force that each line be wrapped in a specific other HTML tag. If you want to learn more about how to use these uh, replace words, there is a tutorial video online for that. Now, once you're happy with your settings, you just click Run. And uh, you can keep an eye on the task log to see exactly what's been downloaded and the progress of the task. So I'm going to let this run, and it's downloaded my three pages. Now, a quick way to visit what the uh, output of that is, is I click on the green button here which brings me to the folder view and this is the highlighted folder and I double click into that and here it is flightcontrols.org and my content is in this HTML page 